Hello everyone, um, thank you for joining me today. I'm a little bit late, um, but um, I'm here now. My name is Jackie Hayes. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator from Perth, Western Australia. <coughs> Excuse me. And my card challenge for, for today... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I've just had a sneezing fit and now I've got coughing was to do a um, rock and roll and it's years since I did this one and I thought it, it is a nice technique but it's one that my ladies would have to really go into YouTube and have a look and this is one I did but I weren't over thrilled with it and, and when I showed this to some my husband and some friends they thought the same it was a bit dark so I came up with this one and I prefer this one I've done this inside as well though I did do the inside a little bit on the plainer side I prefer the inside to this rather than the outside but somebody might like it so that's not a problem it will stay I'll, I'll just demonstrate how to do this one and for a start off I've used um, um, Delightful Daffodil Delight and the new which is sorry Daffodil Delight and it's A5 scored at ten and a half and then Magenta Madness um, which is ten by 14 and a half and whisper white which is nine and a half by 14 and then the inside is whisper white and that is 10 and a, 10 by 14 and a half now what I've done as well is I've used a couple of things I have because I am late I've really got everything sorted but I'm going to show you how to do these and I've done three of the um, the large um, flowers and they're from um, this set prized posy uh, peony rather prized peony and that's this one for there and that one is for this one there and I've done three and two which is and the leaves the the dies have been cut out and they're from the pony dies pi, go on, pony peony dies so and I've, the, not only do you get the the stamps but you do get the dies that go with them and they they are amazing um i can't think how many 17 dies that you get with that and then for the leaves which is these little ones I didn't do big ones on this card whereas I did big ones on that one and I didn't like them very much for the leaves on this one I have also cut them out and they have a die to go with them they're from the celebrate sunflowers and that's these two and the die that you stamp them in in a two and then it cuts out with this which and um, you can see that they're stamping two but then they come out separate they're not attached you you've just stamped uh, die cut them and they just fall out which is really good so that one is celebrate sunflowers with its dyes and just pop that in so it doesn't get lost and then for the um for this bit here for the saying i've used these two and they are absolutely beautiful and they're from the ornate frame dyes and you've got all these you've got how many have we got on that one 11 dies on this one 
and they all interfit so that one would fit in there and and this one would fit in this one fits in there this one fits in there and then you've got these they all fit in that would fit in there which have you already used that one before but i like these intricate ones so i've already cut those out as well so that's those and i stamped the saying wishing you a happy birthday and that one is from band together and that's this one there wishing you a happy birthday from that one so i'll just get started it won't take me long hopefully this time my um my youtube won't cut out because my internet connection uh, didn't work last time it cut out and stopped me in midstream so taking this one first and i'm going to oh no i'll just show you how to do these dies this rock and roll technique first and i've got um daffodil delight and i've got magenta madness i've already cleaned off these stamps because once you have stamped in the the daffodil delight and then magenta madness you must clean it off again because it it just transfers from one to the other now i've put plenty on of the daffodil delight but then when it comes to this bit this is the rock and roll bit and you just hold your block like that and you turn it as if you're rolling and just roll it on the edges and you will see that that is just on the edge and i'll just stamp that off And there's the one that I've just done. As you can see, there's more of the yellow in it. And that's that's really nice how I've done that one. I like that one. But I've already cut mine out for, um, for my card. This is just to show you really how it is all put together. Oh, oh rock and rolled. Just put that back out of the way. And I'll do this small one and um, that's already been cleaned as well so it's just and then just hold this one up and and then just rock and roll that you I don't think you could do this on the Stamparatus I've not had a try but I wouldn't have thought you could now that's that's a small one I didn't do it with the leaves so there's no point in showing you that I just ordinary stamped the leaves off which um, I've already cut four of those out but to save that little bit of time if you're English and you know all about Blue Peter these are some I've done earlier <laughs> I'll move these out of the way and then I'll start building my my card and I'm a bit late today because I had a um, I had a, a granddaughter that rung me up first thing this morning and said Anna um, you're going to take me out to lunch today and I said Oh, am I? She says, yes. I says, so who's paying? She says, you and Grandad. So who could, how could you refuse on that when when somebody tells you you're taking them out to lunch? She's only seven. So we don't, we don't mind that. Now I'm going to place these in... Maybe that one goes over the top. Yeah. I just I'm I'm going to put the um dimensionals on these. Let's see if I can find some. Have I got some? Yeah. I've got some there. So put 
dimensionals on. admit I stressed out over this one but I did like doing it once I'd got into doing it again properly and now like the, the technique I'm just going to take this these backing bits off and I'm using my take the pick tool for that which comes off quite he's easily with that um, make sure I've got this the right way around the same with these and put that one down I'll just put that down there and then That might just go there, I think. Tuck that in there. And then with this one, I'm going to the um, top piece there. I'm going to just put some Tombow glue on the back of this this happy birthday saying and put that on on the filigree background which is oh, magenta madness And I'm going to put my leaves on now. I think I've took that one in there. Put that one in there. And there. I need to just take them back out again and put some tumble glue on them. I just need a little bit on these. And I'm not putting dimensionals on these. I'll just put, because I don't want them raised up. Slid behind the, oh, this one's a, hiding from me it's better just uh, put that in that one and I don't want to put it on all over the um, the leaf I want them so that they look as if the just raised up a little bit put that on there now the the middle ones I'm going to put them on here the little ones and I'm just because I want my card to lay flat inside I'm just putting Tombow glue on these this one. two
and then this one can go inside. And that is Tombow as well. a little bit it's better and for this one I'm going to put this on and then I'm going to raise put the lid on that I'm going to raise this one up I'll put this white one on for flat but I'm going to put this piece on raised up and then I'll put my ribbon on that side, I think. just a fraction over that I don't want it over overlapping so I can see the outside that's better just lay that straight it's bottom and then this piece is going on to the magenta madness. I do like this magenta madness. I think it's really, really neat colour and it'll do for um, anybody really. It's going to be for teenagers or even older ladies because the pink is quite shocking really. Now, for this bit now, I'm going to just put some dimensionals on the back of this and raise this up to give it that bit of a, a dimension part of it now when you're putting these on you've just got to remember that your um your card has got to go through the post and these are my end bits I'm just going to make sure I've got plenty on and you don't waste these bits these are all sticky as well right. you know should take your pick tool for these as well it comes off quite easy those and this one then will go on to the daffodil delight and then I'll make the ribbon and all you have to do for the ribbon is just take a piece in your left hand with your finger in your thumb and make a M shape Tuck it in at the back, pull it through, and just tighten it up. It's 
So there's there's the ribbing. I'm just that way then you've not wasted a lot of your ribbon. Cut that off diagonal so it doesn't fray. And we'll sit there nicely. I'm going to put a piece of tape on there so that it won't come off. And this is my extra strong tape. And I just wanted and then just took that little bit in because I don't want that to, that showing. Now it's stuck on my finger and just put that on there. So that is fastened down really secure. Now I'm just going to do some gems and these are basic jewels that I've got and everything I've used is stamping up. So when you're using, taking your gems, if you take the top off of the back piece and use this piece that's got a um, bit of putty on the end and push the gem and then it's so simple and just keep pushing that three four where, where can I put this one um do I put one over that bit put that on that bit there five so I've got five and the rule of thumb for card making or scrapbooking is three five seven and nine some people like to put a few more extra on but i think that one's quite enough on there and then what i did for the middle of these i didn't do it from all but for the yellow pieces i did winker stella just to make it pop just that little bit more and It just gives it that little bit of a, a shine to it. That little bit there. I think that's quite enough on that one. And then I, I just put some on the inside as well to make those pop up a little bit. I didn't put a saying on this because it's happy birthday and happy birthday you can put anything inside um, I leave it open for anybody to write on that but there's my two cards well three cards really with that one um, so you've got hopefully you'll you like this technique um, which is called rock and roll um, I'm not the only one to do it on, um, on YouTube so if you wanted to watch there's quite a few ladies out there it's been going for a long long time I must have done it 10 years ago when I first started doing um, stamping up maybe probably 12 now so if you would like um, to subscribe uh, my YouTube then by all means please do and share if you like what you've seen today I have an email and a blog and the email is jackysam50 at gmail.com 
and the blog is http two dots two forward slashes jackiesandcards.stampinup.net and if you wanted to join my team you can either get in touch with me by email or go on to my blog and join um, I have a phone number which is 0422 547461 um, if you wanted to send an order at the moment if you place an order for over $90 um, you will get a voucher for $9 to spend in August on anything out of the catalogue I have a new catalogue mini catalogue coming out and hopefully I, I will get that soon it comes out in in August if anybody would like one please let me know I don't charge for these I um, I have to charge for the main catalogue because but they're five dollars so if you just would like to leave a comment by all means leave a comment I will reply to your comments okay so have a good night and stay safe and stay well Bye for now.